Rocky, Rocky Beach, exactly. So my foot here is just about at where sea level is now. The tide is coming in. I'm almost six feet tall. So picture this much more water on top of what's already here. It's just a matter of time, say scientists, when a massive magnitude nine earthquake off the Washington coast sends in a wave like this. A tsunami wave, very much like the one that hit northeastern Japan a little over a decade ago, into places like Ocean Shores and Aberdeen. But will that wave come into the inland waters, including Puget Sound and Hood Canal? This map of low-lying lands around Everett show it will. The purple line, the yellows and blues. The Snohomish River Delta could see nearly six feet. And so we're showing from all the way at the Canadian border to down in Olympia that there will be tsunami inundation throughout the Puget Sound and adjacent waters. Karina Allen is Washington's chief hazards geologist with the Washington Geological Survey, part of the Department of Natural Resources. Here are other locations in Bellingham Bay, which is more in line with the Strait of Juan de Fuca, nearly 11 feet. Seattle's Harbor Island, nearly four feet. The port of Olympia may be six inches. But in Tacoma, which was studied before, generally around three and a half feet. A previous, less precise study thought it would be closer to 10. So it actually is less inundation than previously thought, which is good news. Allen says this is the most complete examination of tsunami inundation from an earthquake generated off the outer coast. They have better images of the land and a better understanding of the shape of the land below the water. Most of these areas are industrial, port areas where people are more likely to work than live. But even where there is more shipping containers stacked or gravel piled high, that could affect how deep the water gets. Then there are the tides. It's not just one wave, it's multiple waves, and so they can come throughout the entire tide cycle. So we think this gives a pretty good representation of the potential. But one place that could see the worst inundation is Belfair at the end of Hood Canal, with depths up to 14 feet. And before the wave has time to proceed back up the Hood Canal, the next wave comes. Now, a lot of this study was also benefiting from what happened a decade ago in northeastern Japan outside of Sendai, where you saw a lot of water go way up river valleys uh, and you saw these repeated waves that just kept coming in and coming in, piling that water even higher. Live in Everett, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.